On this day in 1577, Sir Francis Drake, brilliant name, set out to circumnavigate the world. It took him three years by ship. Today, Cosmos DB guarantees, reads, and writes to any instance in the world in less than 10 milliseconds. Oh, how things have changed. So this week on the show, Azure Functions version 3.0 is go live, GitHub Actions can now be used to trigger Azure pipelines, and the month of December brings some cool Azure coding challenges. You're watching Azure This Week, a show written entirely on the back of a napkin and recorded on a 1986 Panasonic VHS tube camcorder. It's no secret that a cloud guru is deeply in love with serverless. We are so lost in its deep blue eyes and stunning features that we can't look away. The serverless favorite on Azure is Azure Functions, and the little baby is growing up fast. This week, version 3.0 of Functions went to go live status, and you can now use it in production with full support. Functions 3.0 brings new capabilities, including the ability to target .NET Core 3.1 and Node version 12. It's also highly backwards compatible, so most existing apps should be able to run an upgrade to v3 without any code changes. Should. Azure Functions targeting 1.0 or 2.0 will continue to receive security updates and patches moving forward, so you don't have to upgrade if you don't want to either. Try out the new version 3 today. GitHub Actions is a new way to build and deploy your code directly from GitHub. Currently sitting at 1,585 different actions that you can trigger for your project on GitHub, there is a new action for Azure Pipelines. You can use GitHub Actions to trigger an Azure Pipeline run directly from your GitHub Accounts workflow. This means a continuous integration and deployment process that starts at GitHub. There were a lot more updates released from sprint number 161 of Azure DevOps, such as checking out multiple repositories in Azure Pipelines, updated ServiceNow integration, bulk subscriptions for Slack and Teams, uh, more notifications, and more! December is a month of giving, and the Microsoft MVP community and the Microsoft Cloud Advocates have both been hard at work creating some fun coding challenges for you. The first one is the Azure Advent Calendar. So every day throughout December, there will be three challenges to choose from. Some of them are to learn about a topic like governance or functions, and some are coding challenges. Almost all Azure products and services are covered through the 75 videos done by 75 different Azure experts. Amazing! Now the second one is the 25 days of serverless, which is done by the Cloud Advocates of Microsoft, or Cloud Avocados. Mmm, delicious. You get a serverless coding challenge every day, which is mostly Santa and Christmas related. There are great steps and hints to help you along as well. Try either of them out today and see how you go. Use the links below. Go do it now. We don't have many days left in this decade, but Azure news will keep coming. We have one more episode left for this year before a well-earned holiday break. As we say on the A Cloud Guru team, when we have to fit the last three weeks of the year into a single week, seek and use your cloud. So see you next week and keep learning, cloud gurus.